the No Fate channel. Checking in. Today, for you, I have 50% chemistry class, 50% supplement review, but 100% honesty. On this episode of the supplement review from NutraBio.com, I have their brand new, just released Clear Way Isolates. We're going to talk about what a Clear Way Isolate is. We are going to do uh, a taste test in worst case scenario, and we're going to get into why I always do worst case scenario for my viewers. And then I'm going to rank their top three flavors. So I've got their Watermelon Breeze, I've got their Pineapple Splash, and I have their Mango Mist. If this is your first time to the channel, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button below. On this series, I simply do a supplement review on every episode to help you decide if it is right for your fitness goals, your health needs, and most importantly, that hard-earned money. Now, NutriBio.com, no stranger to this channel. I am a huge NutriBio fanboy, as you can probably tell. Um, and for good reason, they tend to do things right. They are above board. They make all their own products. Most supplement companies don't make their own products. And they make them all down in New Jersey in a GMP certified and inspected facility. But forget about that. Let's talk about clear whey isolates. What are they? Okay, we're all familiar with whey isolate protein, your typical vanilla strawberry, chocolate flavors, they tend to be more on the milky side of flavors and consistency. Clear whey isolate is the opposite. They tend to be clear, obviously that's the name of it, but they end up being more tropical type flavors. It allows them to do more interesting flavors. I want you to think like BCAAs and EAAs, and that's why people really love those type of products in large part because the flavors are just so much more enjoyable. That's why I am rocking this tropical Magnum PI shirt and this awesome mustache, right? Um, winter is coming, but I am still trying to stick with my summer state of mind. Um, and that's why I really got these clear way isolates. I enjoyed the watermelon breeze so much. So in a previous video, I was able to snag a sample bottle of this and I liked it so much. I got the other two flavors, their pineapple uh, splash and their mango mist to try. So what are the problems with clear whey isolates as a whole? Okay, NutriBio, not the first company to come out with one, but they did something slightly different that I think is going to be, or at least what we're going to prove is uh, going to be beneficial to this product. So the problems with clear whey isolates, twofold. One, and first and foremost, is you get tons of foaming. Oftentimes with the instructions, they'll say to shake it up, to, or to not even to shake it, to stir it, right? They want you to stir it to prevent the foaming um, and then leave it sitting for like a minute or two which no one has time for. No one has time for that. So NutriBio has actually put in a non-foaming agent in here to prevent and minimize the foaming and to make sure it comes down super, super quickly. That's one thing that they did. The other thing with these clear way isolates is I find that they have like a little bit of an aftertaste. Some of the worst ones that I've tried, and this is going to be my fifth company's version of clear way isolate and trying, you get kind of like almost like a chalky residue um, post swallow. And we're gonna get into whether that, this, that occurs with NutriBios as well. But let's get into it. They dropped three flavors, pineapple splash, mango mist, watermelon breeze. Let's quickly go over the ingredients. I'm not gonna go over all three because they're only gonna change oh so slightly. So one two pound bottle is gonna deliver 20 servings. NutriBio.com has 100% label transparency, and that shows in the label. One serving is 24.93 grams. That's right, it's down to the hundredth of a gram. Zero grams of fat, 80 calories total, less than one gram of carbohydrates. So um, no sugar, less than one gram of carbohydrates, and 20 grams of protein. That protein is coming from whey protein isolate. Um, they even list the quality of whey protein isolate. Whey protein isolate 90, boom. So other companies just put this generic label on. They're telling you the quality of the protein that they put in there. Um, also on the back of this, and this might be interesting for some people who like to have not a lot of added ingredients in their products, no fillers, no artificial color, no preservatives, no starch, no added sugar, no soy, no wheat, no yeast, no fish. Um, and on the bottom, bottom of every one of their bottles is a lot number. You go to checkmysups.com and they have third-party testing on all of their supplements. So we talked at the beginning of this video about worst case scenario. So if you're mixing these, best case scenario is an open top, um, lukewarm water, and then stir it right with a spoon or a fork right why is that because that's going to minimize the foam why do i do worst case scenario here because listen 
I want honest reviews and I want you to know worst case scenario so that when you get it home, you get this product in your kitchen, in your living room, in your office, you know it's going to mix at the very least how good I mixed it, which is worst case scenario. We've got a closed top, right? And we know that as I shake this up, it's going to create extra pressure. PV equals NRT, right? Remember that chemistry class from high school? And I have a whisking ball in here. All of this is going to add to the fact I have cold water. That's going to make it dissolve worse. It's going to make it foam more. And we are going to see how well this actually works in a worst case scenario environment because if this thing foams to kingdom come and takes forever to come down you know you shouldn't pick it up so let's pop the tops see how these actually handle worst case scenario talk about the taste give you my top three ranking right we pick favorites on this channel i'm not going to tell you every every flavor is my favorite because then you know i'm lying i'm going to tell you which is my favorite and which one i don't like then and probably most importantly we're going to talk about how i plan to use it how i've actually already used the sample pack that i got and finally we're going to talk about cost and how you can save money let's go All right, I have shaken the bejeebus out of this thing, and I have actually used clear bottles, so you know. So we do have a lot of foaming initially, and as again, we clear um, way isolates do foam, but look at that. They put an anti-foaming agent. It's coming right down. We're at the 20, we're literally, I think this is maybe 15 seconds. Let's see how it pours. All right, no foaming whatsoever. And let's just pour this one out right now. I don't want you guys to think I'm cheating. Look at that. No foam whatsoever. And if you've ever had a clearway isolate, that is really, really good in terms of not foaming at all. So we're going to start off with the mango mist. So you get, you get that flavor of mango in there. No chalkiness post-swallow, which I like. And... Just your straight up mango. So it's called Mango Mist. It's a straight up mango, fruity, enjoyable cocktail style mango. Let's see how the pineapple is. A very, very good pineapple. Again, straight pineapple, no twists or turns with the flavor. I, I think I felt like a little bit of that chalkiness post swallow, but I'll be honest with you, I think that's because I'm looking for it. I think that's because I'm looking for it, and I, I just barely noticed it on this one. And again, I think that's because I'm looking for it. Okay, let's talk flavor ranking. You know we don't play favorites here. Um, previous video, I reviewed their Watermelon Breeze, and I'm going to save you the time from actually hopping over to that video. Tastes like a Watermelon Jolly Rancher, that sweet spot, that one right in the middle. Okay, number one on the list for ones that I liked was the Watermelon. It came in like a Watermelon Jolly Rancher, that sweet spot in the middle, not too not too bland not too sweet boom right in the middle watermelon jolly rancher second on deck is pineapple really good flavor very good straightforward pineapple which is going to give you that enjoyable flavor and then last is the mango mist probably my least favorite um just didn't do it for me i'm not necessarily a huge mango fan but i, I don't hate mango either so how am i going to be using nutribio's clear way isolate i bought four pounds of it how do i plan to use it before my workouts. Currently, I work out super early in the morning. I don't want to work out on an empty stomach, and I don't want to put down your typical protein drink. For some reason, it just doesn't sit well with me during my workout. Don't know why, just how it is. So I've been doing essential amino acids, and they've been getting the job done, but frankly, Clearway Isolate's going to be an improvement. Why? It's going to have a full amino acid profile. It's going to deliver more protein into my system, and it's going to have the tropical flavors that I want prior to my workout to kind of get me in that nice, that nice little tropical mood, that nice good flavor mood, that wake me up mood, and get on with my workout mood. So how much does Nutribio's Clearway Isolate cost? If you go over to their website, Nutribio.com, and use my code NOFATE2477. Yep, we added an extra 7 for savings. Um, that gets you 10% off the entire website. And that brings us down to like $1.20 per serving. It's either $1.20 or like $1.25.
It is a slightly more expensive than your typical whey isolate for two reasons. Number one, it's only in the two pound containers. As we know, when you buy the five pound containers or more, you tend to get more savings per serving, and that's just how it is. And secondly, the clear weight isolate just costs more to make, okay? So that's where that extra cost comes in. But for many of you spending $3 for a coffee or spending like $4 for a protein bar, or I don't know, three or three fifty for like a Dunkin' Donuts sandwich, trust me, that money is gonna be well spent. If you came this far in the video, I wanna know, in the comments below. What are you doing prior to your workouts in terms of food? Are you taking in whole food before you lift? Are you lifting on an empty stomach? Or are you just putting down um, a protein shake like I am? Drop it down below. Also, if you came this far, do me a huge favor. Give this video a like and hit that subscribe button. It helps out the channel and I certainly appreciate it. As usual, thank you for watching and don't save anything for the trip back.